Well, make sure you get outside and look up to the stars tonight. It'll be the first supermoon of 2026. We already got a good look at the moon this morning, which, as you can see, looks ginormous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it looks like it's about to crash into Earth. And now, along with the supermoon, the quad-ranted meteor shower will be experiencing its peak. You know, the quad-ranted that everyone's been talking yeah. about. That looks superimposed, almost. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is all just the beginning of what is expected to be a very... Busy lineup of cosmic wonders. Joining us now to talk all about it is Michelle Nichols, Director of Public Observing at the Adler Planetarium. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, so we have to start with the uh, meteor shower. This is considered one of the best of the year because usually uh, there isn't a lot of moonlight. But tonight we have a super moon. So what does that mean for everyone trying to catch a glimpse? Bad. Um, usually the moonlight, if, it, if, if it's going to be a full moon, which it is tonight, the moon will interfere. You'll, you'll only see the brightest meteors. The other problem with this particular meteor shower is the peak is really short. It's only about six hours long. So you know what? Sleep in tonight. It's okay. We can try again next year at the same time. <laughs> All right. But we also have the super moon, which is, which is pretty uh, amazing sight in and of itself. Can you explain what that is? why it appears to be so much bigger and, and how it looks different than a normal full moon. Yeah, so a supermoon is when the moon reaches the closest point in its orbit to Earth right around the time of full moon. And so it can look a little bit bigger Kind of hard to tell because there's nothing else to compare it to in the sky. It may look a little brighter. Um, but in reality, when you're seeing it looking really huge, honestly, it's an optical illusion. Um, so your brain is making it look that big. Mm. Um, so the the real size of a supermoon, it'll be a little hard to tell compared to any other full moon. Um, but it's a really good excuse to go outside and check out the sky. Always because you use it as an excuse. And I love, I love all the names they have of the supermoons as well. Uh, keeping it with the moon, uh, we should have a partial lunar eclipse this summer. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so we've actually got a total lunar eclipse in March and a partial lunar eclipse, which is actually almost total in August. So August 27th in the in the early evening. So it'll start around 9.30 p.m. or so. And uh, yeah, it should be a good show. So hopefully we can, uh, Mark can get us some good clear skies that night <laughs> so we can point our telescopes at the, at the lunar eclipse that night. It'll be almost full. Um, so uh, it should be a pretty nice show. All right, Mark, uh, get to work on that uh, we really need you to come through for that um you know i, I as i understand the sun is going to be generating some buzz in 2026 as well i mean it's not going anywhere i don't think but uh, uh tell us uh, some of the some of the things solar flares that we might be seeing Yep, so the sun is still active. So it, it we reached the peak of solar activity um, about last year. So the sun's heading in a, in a little downward turn in terms of the number of solar flares and coronal mass ejections and all that kind of stuff. However, it's still gonna be pretty active. Um, and believe it or not, you know, if you get lucky tonight, there might be a chance to see an aurora if you go way out away from the city, uh, look close to the northern horizon. There's a chance of seeing something tonight, although the moon's going to interfere with that, too. So don't get too excited. Um, but throughout this entire year, we may get the chance to see some auroras and, uh, and northern lights that uh, like we did last year and the year before. So fingers crossed that the sun still puts on a good show for us. I know that's something so many people have on their bucket list. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much. And uh, we'll be checking in with you. And like Paris said, we'll stay on mark to, to make things happen for us so we can see all these uh, great wonders clearly. It's like these celestial activities are competing with each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. for the spotlight. Saw yeah. a promo for the new Avengers movie. Take it easy. <laughs>